Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I am here with an Artistic Studio Creation Design Team Project Part 2. So we're going to design the rest of our pages for our 8x8 uh, Alice in Wonderland, Alice Tea Party for Graphic 45, which is the same as the Alice Collection for Stamperia, or almost the same um, as far as that goes. So, um... Yeah, let's keep going. Head on over to ASC Supplies on Etsy and get uh, use Scrap and Posh 10 to get 10% off your normal price purchase. Let's continue on. So this is a smaller page, and on my one of my favorite pockets to make is a uh, tag pocket, a small tag pocket, um, and it goes uh, the tags stick out this way instead of uh, the other way. So it's easier to do this ahead of time, but I'm going to go ahead and scallop punch these corners. You just have to make sure that you have your paper up against both sides of your punch and it will all work out okay. So, if you get it wonky, you get it wonky. Oh, whale. <clears throat> so, uh, these are just like scraps. They are two and a half. And then you have this, so two and a half is optional. You can do whatever size you want. Okay, you guys made a mistake. I made the wrong measurement. I'm going to cut that out, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. So I have the wrong measurement for this page. You can see I pulled him off before he was all the way glued down, threw him away. And now um, this guy, he's okay. He's, I pulled him off and some of his paper stuck. But this, if I tear that off, it is going to rip this pocket. And I don't want to rip the pocket because that's part of my foundation. So I'm just going to take this X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut right along Okay, so I got him off of there, and now I got some fuzzies to clean up. Fuzzies on the bottom of my pocket, not a problem. You need to know how to fix mistakes, because everybody makes mistakes. I'm going to take my sharp scissors and turn the page over and just go along the side. Fuzzy fuzzy is all done. Okay, and there you go. That is fixed, and let's go ahead and finish that pocket up. Now, my problem was is that I measured for a seven and a half inch piece of paper instead of a seven and a quarter inch piece of paper, and I have seven and a quarter. So, in order to make this double pocket, we're going to take seven and a quarter and divide it by two, and then add an inch to each two pieces at four and five eighths and I think I did two and a half. I have a two and a quarter inch piece sitting over here so that's what I'm going to do it at. So now I have two pieces at four and five eighths by two and a quarter and we're going to score it a half inch on both sides. If you get confused in measurements when you get outside of the quarter and half inch measurements, what you can do is you can put your paper here. See, this is five eighths. It's the doogee after the half inch, but you can score it a half and flip your paper over and score it a half again. That way, you don't have to worry about the eighths. Do the same on this side. I mean, you have to worry about the eights when you cut it, but you don't have to worry about the eights when you measure when you're scoring it. Just to make your life a little easier. Okay, and then I think my original ones were two and a half, so they stuck out a little further. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to because you will be able to see that. I'm just going to move it up. And we'll cover up this here. So, I'll show you what I mean. Your pockets won't go all the way down to the bottom, but that's okay. 
So we're just going to, instead of lining them up with this bottom line, I'm going to line them up to where the pockets were originally. And we'll cover this part up, like I said. And we just line them up to... I'm making a mess. I got glue on my fingers. I always have something wet over here to the side so you can wipe off your... Um, your glue. And the same with this one. This time I'm going to dry fit it make sure it works. It works pretty good. Bottom. Okay, and just line him up with this one. Alright, there we go. And then we'll just stick some little tags in there. It'll stick out to the side and they'll be super cute. And there is, that's one of my favorite pages actually. There's the little pocket page. I'm looking a little rough right now, but it'll be better. Okay, so on this page, these fun, these pages are super fun and easy. So they're just going to be like three flaps. So you already have this flap, and then we're going to add three flaps to it. And these all measure the same, I think. Yep. These are all going to measure five by seven and a quarter, and you score at a half inch on one side. So you see how once you break down a mini album, it's really simple. And just... But do whatever you want. By all means, do what makes you happy. I think I folded that wrong. Maybe not. Sometimes the page doesn't fold and I have to reinforce it, but most of the time it folds just fine. I'm just going to use tape on here <clears throat> because it's easy. And if you wanted to add your scallop edges to this you sure could so but what we're gonna do I'm gonna turn it sideways to make it more simple for myself and just line it up with the outside not overlapping and then line it up with the top and bottom and the next one is going to be the same except you just open that flap up and you're going to line this one up. It's almost like a little waterfall, but they're just flaps. Right there. And we'll do the same with this one. And let's line it up. Right there. Okay. So when you're flipping through, you're going to see this, and then this, and this, and this. Okay, now this one's going to be a fun one. This is a pocket with a belly band on it. So um, the page here is seven and a quarter. So you cut this at eight and a quarter and mine is by four and a quarter. Of course, if you want to change that, you can. You just have to change the belly band to um, <clears throat> like change it the same, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you see what I mean? So again, you're going to glue the outsides and the bottom. And line it up with the outside here. Just make sure it doesn't go over your fold here. If it goes over your fold, pick it up and do it again because your book won't close right. Okay, so there's your pocket. Big, nice big pocket. And then we're going to put this little belly band on it. Now if your me pocket measures four and a quarter, this has to measure five and a quarter. Score it a half inch on both sides. This was a piece of scrap paper. It is two inches. But you can make it however big you want. him right in the midst. Okay, 
So a nice big pocket there. Like I said, this is a little bit different than the first Alice Mini, but I think it'll be just as impactful. Alright, let's go over to the next page. Okay, next on this big, nice big page, we're going to do um, a waterfall. And these guys, you can always modify your waterfall. Like these, um, I made six and a half by five in the... Um, in the other album, it was to accommodate the large um, cut apart. You can make these four and a half by six and a half, or four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and make um, you know make them for the journaling cards. But I'm good with this. We'll we'll figure out um, if we want to lay layer journaling cards on them. We sure can. So um, the measurements for these are five and a half by six and a half, and then you score at a half inch. And there are five of them. There may only be four of them. Hang on. <laughs> I think there's only four of them. I think the other one's for a different page, but <laughs> so um, for these, I want to mat the page underneath first. So uh, you can put five on there if you want. I'm just going to use four because that's what I have here. But uh, like I said, we're going to mat that first. So I'm going to take these, stack them on top of each other. and tape them into the book so we know where they go. Again, if you use washi tape, you don't have to worry about ripping your pages. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so on this page, this is a short page, so we're just going to add another flap to it. So this flap here, and it doesn't matter what size you make this, um, I made it uh, five and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at a half inch. And I'm just going to tape that right to this flap, and we'll put it in the middle. Just make sure that you don't cover up your bend. And then we'll go ahead and make that a pocket by adding this um, pretty large pocket for that. It is four and a half by six and you score it a half inch on both sides. And we'll just glue on both sides and then at the bottom and we will stick him right on there and make that a pocket and you just line it up with the outside and now you have a flat pocket added to your small page okay and then for this one we're going to just add another flap on the side of the page and if we um, if we go back and we decide we have too many flaps not enough pockets not enough tags we can always add um, a pocket to any of these flaps it just really makes the book seem like it has way more pages than it actually does and we'll just line this up with the back And there is that page. Just a few more to go now. Okay, and I wanted to make uh, my double belly band page. So I cut this page at six and a half by six and um, scored it at a half inch. So it's going to be a six by six page. And this one is a little out of order and a little different size. So. Feel free to make whatever size you want. 
again, it is really personal preference for you. We're just going to stack him on top. And then uh, I had a strip that was like two and a half inches, so I just made these like three quarter inches each and by seven, and then scored them at a half inch on both sides. And I never did one of these before this book, so I thought it was, uh, once it got it all together, I was like, yeah, I really like that. It looks pretty neat, the double belly band. So we're going to just glue top and bottom and do about, well, I mean, make it so that when you put them on, they're about um, equidistance from side to side. So you can slide something underneath there. And you can slide something pretty bulky on there. I did a trifold before, matted on all sides. So, definitely potential. Just want to make sure that they're straight up and down. Oops. I'm not worried too much about that because there'll be a mat covering it, so. There is that. Okay, so now this page is going to be a pocket. And I want you to double check your measurements on your page because this one I had an eighth inch too long. I had to cut it down. So, um, yeah, double check the measurement. And we're going to make a big pocket. And your pocket is... Um, an inch bigger than your page and then you score a half inch on both sides so this one is seven inches for me it somehow ended up being seven and eight I don't know if that's because um, I folded it wrong or I, I, I don't know it ended up being weird so just double check that your pocket before you cut it and score it it's always a good idea anyways Score it both sides. Just do yourself a little dry fit before you put glue and tape on it. Okay, so this is going to be a rather large pocket again. And then we're going to do a flap from the bottom. With a tag or with a pocket on the flap too. So this little guy and again you can make it pretty much any size you want uh, I cut this one at five by four and three quarters it was the one of the original page things uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and scallop punch these sides here these top Scallop punch is a tricky one. You have to get that sucker right on on it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down before I put my pocket on. And if you're worried about this um, catching when you close it, you can always put a magnet in there. I'm not worried about it. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll matter. And then your pocket's just going to go right on the bottom here. I guess it depends on how bulky it is. If you get it too bulky, it definitely will try and hang up your album. We will just look at it once we get everything matted and see if we need a magnet in there or not. Um, so I forgot to tell you how big this was. This is... <clears throat> four and three quarters so it was five and three quarters and I scored it at a half inch on both sides by three inches and now you have a flap with a pocket okay so now on the back of this page and uh, since we're getting to the end it's starting to poke up a little bit uh, this is just going to be a double pocket so this page ended up being I think it's seven inches yep seven inches so I made a pocket at eight by this is four and three quarters again and then one at eight by three and we're going to score at a half inch on both sides on both of those now if you want your top pocket to go all the way down through um, so it allows bigger items to go in there I'll show you how to do that 
So you take your um, bottom pocket, which is typically you want to be the bigger pocket because otherwise it looks funny, and you just put that down like normal. And glue on the bottom. Line it up with the outside. Okay, so a normal pocket there. Um, I think the three inch one's a little too big. I think we're going to have to cut him down since this one is the four and three quarter. Let's see here. Um, let's cut this one down to two instead of three. It's not going to give us a whole lot of room at the top, but it'll give us enough room to tuck something underneath there. Okay, so now in order to tuck this pocket into that pocket, what we got to do is take and cut about a 45 degree angle uh, with the little flap down. And then you want the same exact angle on this side so it kind of sinks down in there. If you don't feel comfortable not measuring, just use the little triangle from the one you just did. You can always draw it on there. Just going to snip it about the same. Sometimes if you try too hard, <laughs> you mess it up. Okay, so if you want a small pocket, then you just slide him down in here as far as he goes. And you glue on the sides and the bottom. If you want a big pocket, something to go all the way down, you do not glue the bottom. You just glue the sides. Okay. And then tuck him in underneath that pocket. And as long as you got your little triangles cut right, your pocket will be straight. If you got your triangles cut like kind of wonky, your pocket's going to be wonky too. <laughs> so now you got a double pocket. Both of them go all the way down to the butt base of this page. Okay, coolest thing about paper ever is if it's short, this is one of our short pages, you just make it longer. I'm going to make this one longer. So I just took this as um, about two and a half inches by seven and a quarter. This is about two and a half inches by seven and a quarter. We are going to piece together another piece on this one. We're not going to make it the entire page. Of course you could. You could make all the pages the same size if you'd like by doing this method. Um, all you got to do is line it up. Make sure it's straight. Voila! You have a bigger page. On this page I'm going to make it a horizontal pocket. So I have, um, of course the page is seven and a quarter. I have this guy cut at eight and a quarter by three and it's just going to leave this little part at the top sticking out. There we go. And then for the horizontal pockets, you do both sides and the bottom. Now, as I'm putting this together, I'm ending up with extra pockets and tags and stuff, so we may have some... <laughs> it's not going to be exactly like the other Alice album, but we're going to try, okay? So now you have a small pocket, horizontal pocket. Okay, so this page, I believe, is going to be our fold-out page. So I want to do my double flap page, but I don't have a page, so I'm going to make one. This is an eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I'm just going to score at a half inch on the eight and a quarter side so that we can make the pages the same size. Okay, so this is um, one of the pages that we're going to use for the double 
flap out and this is one of the easiest things to do and I think makes a huge impact and I will say it every time I do it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter, we just scored it at a half inch, so we can make our page seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I'm just going to attach it to the other side of this um, horizontal pocket flap, so that it looks like it's its own page. And then we have two flaps that are going to go on either side here. They're cut at seven and a quarter. By seven and scored at a half inch and then I have two flaps again seven and a quarter cut at uh, five and a half scored at a half inch so once this is put together it's going to be about four pages thick long so Take your half inch and line it up on this side. This is a truly unique book with lots of different pages. The pages don't repeat. It's always fun when you can make lots of different interesting pages. Okay, so there's that one. Now I'm going to move him back because I'm going to unfold him now, and then the smaller one goes here. And we're going to put this right on the edge of him. So, line it up. And there is one double fold out, and then we're going to do the same thing with the full page that we just made. When I fold, when I turn it like this, it just makes it easier for me to line it up. It is not necessary to do that. I just think if it's at that angle, it's just a little easier. Okay, and it lines up at the bottom here. It's a little harder because it's bulkier on this side. So all the pages that we've put in. And then our smaller page. Push them down. Fold out. He just lines up at the bottom of this one. Or side of this one. Alright. There we go. Now we have a like quadruple by quadruple um, one, two, three on that side, one, two, three on this side. So you have six doo -doo 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 in a row there. Let me just fold those back up. And then when you look at them, they look like this. If you think they're too bulky, you need something to hold them down. You can always put a magnet or some other kind of closure on there. Uh, I've never had a problem with them uh, being too big. Sometimes you have to treat it a little nice and hold it while you flip it. All right, we're almost done, guys. Okay, now on the back of uh, Big Bulky here, we're just going to add a simple, um, like, a vertical flap here. And I did this in the other one. It was a 6x6. Six six. This one obviously isn't. This one is a... Da, da, da. This one measures 7x5.5. And, um, and then scored so it's 6.5x5.5. And, and, and you can make it whatever size you want. If you have a certain image that you want to display, use it. Uh, you know, cut it to size use it for whatever you want it to. Now I'm going to go ahead and punch the corners here. Punching the corners is totally optional, uh, but I am going to flip this upside down so I can do this. And then um, this one, this isn't on the 
other one, but I am going to add uh, a flap here on this side to hold that one down. I don't think uh, the big one needed it, but since this is just a little different size, I think we may need a little extra help, and then we can always add a magnet in this if we have to. So this one, um, I'm going to put it a little further up so you can see this paper from top or bottom. Okay, now on top of that, I want to do my half page and I'm out of pages, so I'm going to add a page. Again, this is eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And we're going to put him, let's go ahead and put him on the cover, on the back cover, just like that. So he'll actually be a flap off of the back cover. Um, I'm going to peel up a little bit of this washi as to not tape it down. I don't think it would have, but just in case. And you can put this right on your flap. And I'm going to line it up with the other pages to make it look like it's another page instead of part of the actual back cover. There we go. We just made another page in our album. And then this one's, I like this one. I think it's pretty neat. This one's just going to be like a half page. So it goes here, and then I'm going to put a pocket on the back or the inside of it, but I'm not going to glue it down yet because I want to mat that page first. So I'll go ahead and make the pocket, and then I'm going to punch the corner. Remember, if you ever feel like you want to change something that you've already done, nothing is set in stone. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the scallop edge with this one. And this one. Okay. And our little pocket page is going to go flush with the outside here. So I'm just going to tape him on so we know where he goes. Okay, we're going to open it back up, and then on the back cover, we can go ahead and add just a small flap. I guess this is on the back page of the back cover, the back flap cover page. He's going to go this way, and then the back waterfall, which is a horizontal, a horizontal waterfall. So, no, this guy here is just a scrap. It's, um six so I cut it at six and a half by four and a quarter by four and three quarters so it was another leftover from when I cut the original pages okay so now this waterfall I think I made these um, yeah these are like four and a half by six so these are fit your four by six journaling cards you just have to cut a little bit off of the top and there are one, two, three, four, not sure what that is, five, six of them. <laughs> if I need that later, I'll get it. Then you just score them on the four and a half inch side. So these are essentially four by six. Uh, which was perfect for the Alice album, the first Alice album, because they were um, like three and a half by five and a half journaling cards. Now again, I cannot glue this down because I have to mat the back first. This is a 
magnetic belly band that's going to hold this guy down. But just to add some interest, I put a pocket in it. So I'm going to have to go track down my circle punch before I get to finish this. But I just, this one's going to have to be cut a little bit. So this guy is two and a half. Oh nope. This guy is two and three quarter by six and a half. You score at the six and a half inch side. And this one is two and a quarter by four. And you score a half inch on both sides, and that's just gonna give you another little tuck spot on the closure, which is super cute. And just makes this little pocket and that's going to be part of our magnetic closure for our horizontal waterfall okay and that will be our closure there All right, I think it's time to start matting. I have extra pages, <laughs> so if you see something that I left out, you're probably right. So, now it is time to start decorating. So, uh, I'm going to end this second part tutorial here. Uh, this is a ASE supply on Etsy design team project so head on over to ASC supplies on Etsy or AFCCraftSupplies.com use scrapping posh 10 for 10% 10 off your normal price purchases and join me for the next one thanks a lot we'll see you later bye bye